How many yeah. Plan Bs do you think you've taken in your life? Have you seen Jason Nash on TikTok Live every day begging of for course. money? Yeah, yeah, I see clips of it. I am in love with Brooke now. This might be my last episode of Jeff FM. You got upset that they're not shipping us anymore? You have a full... And isn't that crazy? Because I've always been like, stop, stop, this is so annoying. But then it's like, you don't know what you have until it's gone. He used to be out on the corner, he was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave us some cuts. Now he's a podcaster, his life he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff. FFM. Well, well, well. Jeff Hello. She's back. She's back. She's almost ready. Why are there photos of my missing tooth on this fucking? Um... Yeah, that's that's very funny. A credit card with your missing tooth. Oscar is a genius for that. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, that's a real good one. So this is the follow up. I just had a big episode with your co-host. Yes, and friend, you did. Brooke. I really love to see it. I love to see the crossover. We shifted the ship. <laughs> So yeah. now it is no longer on you. It's You're happily... Slow this de- music down too much, too much. Starting off like that. It's going to be one of those days, you know? <laughs> Cody, you want to come on? Remember how we do a podcast, Cody? Come on in here. Pop in. I love my life this year. So yeah, Cody's been living here. So it's been... The tensions have been high in the house. Okay. Yeah, you got mad at me. No. Oh, why did, why did he get mad at you, Cody? He was like... Um, He's like, yo, you wanna, are you thirsty? I'm like, yeah, not really. And he's like, oh, here's my credit card. Go to the store. Well, look, let me let me start this story out. And I don't want to start out with pity for me. And look, I got a lot of comments on the last episode that were like, oh, this is like uh, when you when a girl goes on a date with a guy and he just talks about himself the whole time. You know. Was this your moment of enlightenment that you realized you might have those tendencies? I realized I brought you in here and we just started talking about our own personal beef and that's not right. It's funny because I we were on the phone right before you went on and I literally was like, ask her about herself. Don't talk about yourself for all the comments. I know, but she was then, a little shy when she came in here. So I had yeah. to like talk about myself. I don't know. Yeah. It is a, it's a, you know, it's a intimidating environment over here. Is it? Kind of, yeah. It's funny because it's not to me, I guess, because I like know all of you guys very well but like when people tell me that i understand why they could feel that way yeah but it was just me here. it's like eight offensive guys in one house there's like it 60 just cameras one, just one offensive guy and Yo, two, my, there's one <sighs> the other two were in the bathroom he wasn't even here for that my felonies are expunged now <laughs> they're not yet we're in the process of getting our felonies expunged i think it's crazy that um you're in the process of getting your felonies expunged when you just went to mexico to buy illicit drugs on camera so stupid. Um, Can you talk to me about that? I've been waiting for the podcast because I knew you wouldn't tell me anyways. Yeah, so the point of the video or the documentary that we were shooting was to go down to Mexico, buy a bunch of drugs, and test them for fentanyl to prove that all drugs have fentanyl in them. If you're buying drugs on the street, you will die. You know, okay. we're, So it's a good cause is why we're doing it. Now, we ran into a lot of stuff. that I, I don't know. I don't even know if we could post it. Like, it's nuts. It's the most insane idea I think you've ever had. Like... I just, for the to, audience I'll, to understand, I've been getting calls from my best friend Jeff every couple days. Like, okay, I'm headed back to Tijuana. We're looking for fentanyl this time. I had to do another do- run. I guess the video will be out uh, by yeah. the time this comes out. But the first run, all the drugs I got were clean. Yeah, La Farmacia is fucking yeah. intact. I love it there. So I had to go back and do another run. And this time I went back with spy glasses. Okay. So the spy glasses have a camera right in the middle of them. Mm-hmm. I wish we invested in like the Ray-Ban ones, Oscar, but those are the ones you pick for some reason. I have those. Oh, the, the you Ray can ba- have mine. The Ray-Ban yeah. ones only record for 60 seconds. Oh, fuck. That's the problem then. Yeah. So yeah. these ones have a big battery on the side and there's a red flashing light. <laughs> yeah, the, the, Ray-Bans, so, the Ray-Bans also have a big ass fucking light right in the front. Yeah. So they're well, not Well, it's probably like, good to let people know that you're recording them. Just a no, thought. If you're walking into a cartel club, to buy mm. and you have a camera blinking with a red light like it's recording i got caught i got they saw the camera and they wanted the glasses and I mean, they're trying and, to pull them off me and and that's when we weigh out like maybe another fitness video you know like but that's when we kind of weigh out like should i be here but the thing is is a bunch of people have actually been reaching out to me like aren't, aren't you scared jeff's doing this isn't this stressing you out like da, 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 da. yeah and i'm like as much as it is a stressful situation, you would be enthralled to go back to jail. No, jail's the worst place in the world. I wasn't even worried about jail, though. Like, around Mexican gang members, cartel, jail's like the... The least of our the worries. Least no, of I was thinking, I crossing the border. I'm worried about, like, if somebody was just, like, use violence on us, thinking that we're, like, they're trying to, like, rat them out. Yeah, yeah. with spy glasses on. With spy I was worried glasses. they were going to find the glasses, look through our footage, and, like, chop our heads off or some shit, you know? Yeah. That was only for like a brief like 
few minutes though you know the rest of the time was great the mexican people are great they were very welcoming we had great food there we had a great time great experience great drugs we, we got great but they pussy. were <laughs> that was all you buddy you, <laughs> you speak for yourself listen he I went told out me there. he fucked the devil <laughs> he fucked the demon yeah yeah he went out yeah. there and he yeah, yeah he yeah. he found a, a demon yeah you're kind of into that though no yeah yeah i love it it was a wild 24 hours yeah i <laughs> fucked this demon and then she crawled onto the sink and then washed her whole shit out what do you mean so there's, a, there's, the there's like a, a famous place there called hong kong hk <laughs> it's a big hk and it's like the hottest spot everybody knows about it if you're going to tijuana everybody's like oh you got to go check out hong kong it's a it's hell it's actual hell it's just a brothel there's like all these women that will just like come up to you and just like Fifteen dollars to have sex with them and shit like that, like it's insane. So he, I think he got one on the higher end. And got the high end. What one. it was like thirty bucks in uh, paperclip and belly button. I think it was like, one, think it was no, like two hundred. <laughs> two hundred. Could he rented a hotel room and stuff and all that? But there's like. But a you whole gotta process. do the math. You gotta do the math. Can know? I just ask you a question? If I take a girl to dinner over here, it's two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't see the difference. Like he kind of has a point yeah. with some of these uh, demons in LA. This is more direct than I get to like smash. What about like Hinge, Bumble, Tinder? Still have Honestly, to take them. To, to still, still have to take them to dinner, and yeah, you yeah. don't have to. You can, sometimes you can girls be up get front. three dinners out of you, and that's six hundred, and I just did two hundred. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a math, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. Yeah. So that was two hundred dollars for that load. We had to go check out HK Hong Kong. Yeah. It's a famous place and I figured that would be a good jump off like starting point to meet people and mm. then I could get into, you know, where I could find drugs. Yeah, and mix whatever. and mingle with the yeah. cartel. It's he like got a, a little, like a mixer. Uh -huh. yeah. He got a little sidetracked. Yeah. And I got dragged into this shit. I see that. <laughs> I had this I had the spy glasses on and a girl will come up to me, she's like it would like offer you know like do you want to and i was like oh look i'm not looking for that i'm looking for drugs mm. i need you to get me drugs and then she was like okay and she took me to a guy and then i, I was like i want to talk to the boss and then she took me in the back and i met the boss and it's just a bunch of crazy shit and i'm wearing the spy glass for the whole time and i was, thought i was gonna get my fucking head chopped off you're scaring the shit out of me like i just, and, just we had, why? and we had white kyle with us the whole time <laughs> Kyle's wife. Poor, poor little white Kyle. I'm like, Kyle, share your location with me on Find My Phone and don't Kyle, talk to nobody. Kyle, I have like a photo shoot you can film the BTS of in like a couple weeks if you like. You don't have, you, like, blink if you need help. No, Kyle loved it. Kyle Jeff's loved the time like, of his life. Jeff's running around like, I want to want somebody to cut my fucking head off. And I Kyle's was like, chill, chill. Well, you're fucking screaming it in the cab. And this guy's like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I was <laughs> like, take us to where the gringles get their fucking heads chopped off. And then Kyle's like, yo, too, too much, too much. <laughs> but it's just, Kay's an Uber driver. They have Uber. It's fine. It's like, you know, it's not like America makes it out to be. It's not yellow. Do you it's just not... need to feel something? Is yeah. this it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. At this point, relapse, Jeff. <laughs> I almost... I almost did, but this was all alleged. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it was for a good cause. You know, you've had friends that have passed away from fentanyl overdoses, and, and I, you know that this is this, right, right. I'm guessing you did. Assuming that is crazy. All right, real quick. Today's episode is sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks. You just pick more or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. It's the playoffs, uh, the, the NFL playoffs, so you know what that means. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm watching it. I don't know who's who, but I just pick the kickers to get more than the points. It, and it happens every time. It's, it's the craziest thing. I don't know anything what I'm doing, but I'm hitting big, just playing the kickers and how many times the quarterback passes the ball. It's super fun. It makes the games exciting when I watch them. And you can now find community plays where you can play along with your favorite celebrities picks. Like Meek, they got Meek Mill on there. You can play the same picks as Meek Mill. You just go on there, you just click. I want to put my money on whatever Meek Mill thought of. I think he's, he's a shark. He's got what it takes. He knows what he's doing. Meek Mill, you got Andrew Schultz. Get me on there. I want people to play my picks. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and enormous selection of players and stat types are what makes Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Go to prizepicks.com slash Jeff and use code Jeff 
for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Jeff and use code Jeff for a first deposit match for up to $100. Thank you, PrizePix, for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. So you're sober? Is that your New Year's resolution? Um, It's just tour. Like, I don't like touring when I'm fucked up because I have to lock the fuck in. So yeah. um, I'm leaving in like three weeks. So I probably won't drink until like June when it's over. Wow. Yeah. This is the I'm- most like powerful version of you when you get sober and locked in you, you fucking are unstoppable i agree it's like it's awesome in that regard i love to get drunk i love to have fun i mm-hmm. love to party but i understand i have Who to doesn't? Kinda, it's fun yeah i gotta put it on pause when i need to lock in so i love to smuggle mm-hmm. drugs you know <laughs> allegedly allegedly <laughs> but that was my last run i'm never doing it again yeah please and don't do i that. don't think i could go to mexico after i put this thing out you know I, yeah I don't i'm not showing anyone's face i'm not gonna do any of yeah. that stuff i'm not exposing people I, I, there was a purpose behind the video it's a little goofy we fuck around we do some silly shit but. i'm kind of scared to go on tour i feel like i'm gonna come back here and this is gonna be like an entire trap house you're gonna have like the Shein factory kids you know packing shit up like it's that's just... my next video going to china to find out where covid started no i'm not doing that that's or find out where the small <laughs> children are working in you factories know, objectively just without all of the scary shit i i like that you're trying something new investigative journalism thank and you i think that it's you know what else am i gonna do with my life you know I want to I want to tour this year. I want to do some touring stuff, mm-hmm. and we'll get there. But this was just a little fun, you know. I had the idea for a while, and I was like, let's just try it. You know, I wanted to make a documentary. I'm just really in the mood mm-hmm. to get creative. I think you. I think it's good. I'm I'm hoping investigative journalism can you know become a little less illegal for you over time. But yeah, you know, shot in the dark. But I think that's what separates us from everybody else that's going to do this. Like Mr. Beast is not going to do this. <laughs> no you know? fucking shit, <laughs> Mr. Or, Beast isn't going to go buy fucking fentanyl. Yeah, but like maybe he could be. Maybe he would do something like I paid this guy a hundred grand to walk to cross the border with, you know, and then we could collab. <laughs> you know, hit me up, Mr. Beast. If he gives me a hundred grand, I'll do it again. I <laughs> stopped a hundred dead bodies with uh, bricks and kilos. It's fucking it. That's just, it's just insane, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, Jeff. It's done, and you'll see what happens. The scariest parts are all going to be included in the video, and it'll be out hopefully by the time this comes out. I uh, will be tuning in. Um, you know, but a little horrifying. But Happy what's going on with with you? What are your thoughts about me collabing with Brooke and uh, everybody shipping us now? And you're in a happy relationship. I really. I loved the podcast and I was so excited when you both told me I was like fuck yeah and when you called me you I was listened like, to the whole thing <laughs> yeah. you, did you listen to any of it <laughs> I saw clips I tuned in for a second yeah. I had to check the comments I had to see what the people were saying I, everyone loves Brooke and it, it was amazing honestly you apologized about some stuff that you did what? in the episode do you remember that what are you talking about we did, we did an AI thing where we had you apologize for the way I was about to be like yeah I remember that like yeah. just avoid the whole scandal <laughs> Let me hear. No, we don't. Have, we don't have to pull it up again. But actually, you should hear what he you has made going on. me say things on AI, and you're gonna tell me I don't have to hear. Well, we live to the world. You it made was good. Me- it was good. It was actually like a solid. Like if I if I was a publicist, this would be like this would make me the best publicist because it's perfectly executed. It's in your voice. It's very well written. No slurs. No slur. Absolutely not. Just, <laughs> just hit it. Yeah, Oscar learning AI like this is horrifying. I'm 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 gonna get replaced over here on Jeff FM. But then again, it's not even like you you've already anyway. been. Yeah, everybody wants Brooke here all the time now. <laughs> I love it. I love to see it. I think that you guys are a great duo. But we don't have we don't we don't have the chemistry. It's uh, yeah. It could be there, but it takes time. We you and I have been at this going through yeah. shit. For I years. finally. It's funny because um back in the day when you used to get so upset about the Ryan shit, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I for like one split second reading those comments, I was like, wow, oh my god, like I got a little upset. What do you mean? Like, you got upset that they're not shipping us anymore? You have a full... And isn't that crazy? Because I've always been like, stop, stop, this is so annoying. But then it's like, you don't know what you have until it's gone. What is the, What the fuck of Pineapple Head watches this? He's gonna I don't mean off. you don't know what you have until it's gone, like emotionally. I'm just saying like, damn, like all the shippers are gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it is kind of sad, you know? No, I mean, I don't know. Well, you just brought them all back by that one comment. So now we're back, you know? <laughs> Sorry, it's Makoa. Just, no, he's no. he's the man, and you're happy, and I'm happy yeah. for you. You look great. It's the best you've ever looked. I'm happy for you. 
Yeah. I'm doing the worst ever. I just got back from Mexico, smuggling. I don't know what to do with my life. Allegedly. Um, allegedly, yeah. <laughs> you know, Cody's here, spending a lot more time here now. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Pineapple Man to fall off. That's. <laughs> let's be nice to him because he's uh, he's a really good guy and he's he's made her happy. No, I love and to see it. I didn't think this day would happen because she's so savage. Savage is a nice way to put it. Savage yeah. is a really nice way to put I it. I thought I was savage. She was body and everybody. Clip, clip, clip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I have, that's crazy. Bodying's crazy. But Bo- Yeah, bodying, that's, cra- that's crazy. Um, <laughs> crazy, crazy. I have retired from the streets. I no longer am in the streets. I'm doing um, very good, very yeah. healthy. I saw a fucking clip of your podcast yeah. where Mike comes on. Mike sits down and he's like, and God, sometimes the both of you just need a fucking muzzle. Mike sits down and he's like, I love whores. I fucking love whores. Whores are so fun. You can bring whores to festivals. I love having whores at festivals. Whores are so fucking. I knew, I knew I this one was going to be an everywhere. issue. I whores knew are awesome. Whores are awesome. And then you go, though, that's right? why I love Tana. It was a compliment. It was a compliment. I wasn't even saying. That you were like a whore. You're just like fun, you know. You're, you're. I've seen, like he was saying the compliments, and I was saying, yeah, that's what Tana. That's what I like about her is that she's like There's fun and real and truthful, like and she just she's not trying to be like like. That's what I was saying. I expected a like a better gaslight out of you there. <laughs> that was like a two out of ten. Yeah, but okay. Hold I, on, I, let me try I, it again. I, I hold think, on. I think, try wait, again. Whores are like people that fuck for money, but Tana doesn't. Fuck she horses. has money. She's like a pimp. <laughs> I don't think that's their definition of whore, like though. Yeah. You, you well, are like a, like, a, you're like a... That's mad, why mad, I... Madame or something. That's yeah. why I love Tana. I didn't Crazy. mean it. I didn't mean it from just the whore part of the statement. I meant like the compliments that he was talking about. You just love that I go to in, festivals. In, in, you in love general. that I You love that I go to festivals. I love that you go to festivals. We went to festivals together. We danced and you, around. And you loved it. I loved every minute of it, yeah. Okay. That's why I love Tana. Okay. I, I can't You're, even say I, I, I love you on the show and I, I'm getting shit for this. That was ridiculous. good. That was good. That was like a 7 out of 10. That was good. I was talking about you. You weren't even around and I was like, yo, Mike, chill out. I love You Tana. never actually said, yo, Mike, chill out. But in my head, I meant, I meant it. I was like, yo, be nice here, you know? Tana's great. I, I feel like I have to understand that men are just gonna always say dumb shit, all men, you know? And you just, you gotta take it with a grain of salt. I have the apology right here if you wanna mm-hmm, listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dear on. Ethan and H3 <laughs> audience, I stand before you today sorry, with sorry, a heavy yeah, heart yeah, and a sincere apology. <laughs> At the recent Steamies event, my behavior fell far short of the standards expected of a professional. I acknowledge that I was a drunk mess on stage, <laughs> and for that, I am truly sorry. God who damn, who wrote that? How good is AI? Or inconvenience my actions may have caused the organizers, performers, the organizers, and the performers, yeah, and the audience. This is not a reflection of the respect and appreciation I have for the steamies and all those involved. I understand the importance of maintaining professionalism, <laughs> and I failed to meet those expectations. I want to assure you that I am taking immediate steps to You're never my getting canceled again. We got this sure shit. Imagine I appreciate you really your that? understanding. I think and is I am it too late to, any to put this out? Because it's too late to put this out. My actions. Once again, I am sorry for any disruption. Do I, does my voice sound that low? Experience. Okay, enough. enough. <laughs> no, no, no. That, I thought it was actually you. Like, does my voice like right now? Does my voice sound that low? It's identical. Yeah, oh that's god. your voice. <laughs> oh my god! I called this like I need five years ago. I called this. I was like, we do so many podcasts. They're going to be able to take our voices and make Absolutely. crazy AI. I remember on Scott Cast. I yeah. said this like yeah. five years ago. If you see me like just like on a fucking farm in Nebraska, never doing anything again, that's why I'm not even I'm not even Don't mad at that it. at all. Who cares? We'll, yeah, absolutely. We'll just do it for you. Absolutely. We'll run episodes. We'll do ad reads with your voice. That's we'll just do plan it, your cancellations. Do it yeah. The the, the I, where was we'll AI get apologies for you? We'll make you canceled mm. and then we'll apologize for it. Where were we'll AI apologies? Say <laughs> slurs and then we'll apologize for them. Damn. You want to hear about our beef? What ha- yeah. why it happened? Let me tell the beginning of the story. What beef? What beef? About the Lacroix. You we, fought over Lacroix. Yeah, we had a, like a prison fight over Lacroix. And then and then he fucking. He knew I was hungry. He only ordered his self food. Yeah, <laughs> you're not yeah. you when you're hungry. I was like, "What the fuck? You I order, order, you yeah. want to order Uber Eats without me? All right, motherfucker." I said, "Everybody's on their own now. All right, Everybody, we're, right on. we're all out for ourselves." So we were at the gym. We're working out. I had a random like like fucking eye pain. So I'm taking this Sudafed to like. Cause sometimes I'll just have like pressure and yeah, because like, your just, sinuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll like really swell up. So I was like, yo, I gotta go. I gotta go home and, and lay down and just take like meds and just put my face in, in the pillow. 
So we go back. It's and just cartel ambient. No, I took Sudafed. <laughs> right, yeah, that wouldn't do anything for it. Um, yeah. Sudafed you can make meth with, though. You know how you have so to, like. I, I'm a little methed out right now. Yo, Anyways. Remember, that, remember as kids, like, we used to call people, like, yo, I got the hockey equipment. What? We used to call Xanax that was, bars. Like sticks. Hockey sticks. That oh. was the code yeah. over the phone. Yo, come get the hockey equipment. I used yeah. to say tickets to Barcelona. Yeah. Oh, nice. We used to use code a lot, you know? There was no yeah, iPhone. Tickets to Barcelona. So, That's like high level shit. That's like straight out of a movie. Or like, let's go to Barcelona. All right, so tell them yeah. about the liqueur. Okay, yeah, so so we come back here. There's no drinks in the fridge. Okay. Cody's now living here rent-free, you know, just hanging out. He's got a mattress upstairs. You're going to take that? And I've been here three days. And, <laughs> and, and he's, yeah, it's he been three days. He calls it living here. It's been three days. But no, because you told Shaban, you're, you're like, yo, Cody's moving in with you. So I'm like, all right, now Cody's been... You know, drinking the LaCroix, they're all gone. This guy's an animal. He could down three of these in a minute. He okay. just, gl- 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 they're just <laughs> yeah. like gone. Yeah. And throat go. There's nothing left. Yeah. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a sex term or something like that. It is. Well, all right. So I throat go to these fucking LaCroix. <laughs> yeah. So, so he downs everything. The fridge is empty. There's nothing. There's okay. nothing in the house. I'm like, yo, take my credit card. You know, I'm fucking laying there dying. I'm like, get some drinks, please hours go by Mm -hmm. i go downstairs i'm thinking like he probably took care of it. he's got nothing going on cody always has to be moving his brain's Mm -hmm. always got to be moving otherwise he's like you know 100 miles an hour or just done yeah nothing so i go down there there's nothing in the fridge remind you i had rsv which was a respiratory infection (laughs) in my lungs so i've been sleeping so many excuses look it's just like demon i flew from dubai i fucking stood up the whole night i fucking went to tijuana with them (laughs) Stood up, haven't yeah, yeah, slept in yeah. days, and then I finally crash out. We were both worn out. This was after the Mexico trip. We yeah. weren't sleeping. He My went, little princesses needed their beauty sleep. Yeah. Well, we were up for days. He was at yeah. the wall He's of like, China. You just want to fucking sit there like a fat whale in the dark. <laughs> I call him that. I was I like, what that. the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And then I called a this beached girl. Whale. I didn't say fat whale. Well, I said beach whale. You're a laying on the because the mattress doesn't have a box spring underneath <laughs> it, so it's just on the ground. So I'm just laying in that fucking room like a beached whale. I'll handle the Lacroix. I'll get the fucking LaCroix. So I went and I got all the LaCroix. I come back and I'm like, now it's every man for themselves. These are my LaCroix. Mm. And I'm ordering sushi and I ordered it for myself and I didn't ask nothing. And he (laughs) he had to order his own shit. So the next day, the beef kind of rolled over to the now. The next day, it was like tension. You felt the tension. Yeah. We go for a run and still still some tension. (laughs) I could really see you guys in like 10 years being like, okay, like, like a like a platonic marriage. I mean, no, no, look, nah, and then fuck the, that. I, I platonic. Called, oh, fuck this that, girl no wanted way. to hang out with me. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to hang out right now. My boy called me a beach whale. I'm not motivated. <laughs> she was like, oh, I don't think that about you. I was like, you ain't got no real friends to call you that. You need a real friend. <laughs> you need a real friend to tell you the truth. You. It's re- and yeah. it's funny because at the end of the day, it's like y'all's love language. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, exactly. What the fuck? I was like, I'm laying in the dark like a beach whale right now. <laughs> yeah, the, the light doesn't even work in that room because it's only the studio lighting because it's the barbershop it's room. It's a barbershop room. It's the barbershop room. There's a mattress room. on the floor. The, yeah, there's a mattress. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're working on it. We're transitioning it into. We a, fucking a did all. See, it, we are, we are. You know, it's like you guys are like a little couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a HGTV show. We're, yeah. we're remodeling this room to double as a set and a bedroom for Cody when he's yeah. in town. I have fucking four LaCroix drinks and I'm out of here tonight. By the time I come okay, back next week. This isn't where the, where it ended, though. Now I'm like, yo, let's ru- let's go down to my jiu-jitsu gym. Uh, and Cody calls it a clout jitsu gym. He says you go there with celebrities. Oh, you're not really jiu-jitsu. fighting. Fake he's jiu-jitsu. like, you're not really fighting anybody. It's all like just Hollywood bullshit clout. You just take pictures in there and, and you leave. So I bring him in there and there's a boxing class. And I tell the coach, I'm like, yo, when you pair us up to spar, pair us up. I want to go at it with him, you know? Mm-hmm. And I whisper that to him on the side. Cody walks over and he goes, yo, not knowing anybody in this whole gym. He goes, yo, if something goes down between us, let it ride. And I'm like, <laughs> why the fuck did I even need to whisper to him, you know? So then we just went at it in the gym. We just fucking <clears throat> beat the shit out of each other, just blasting each other with body shots only. Yeah. And after that, we were good. Honestly, that's a, it's kind of a good method. I might take up jujitsu, clout jitsu, if you will. That was that was a, a fight. I'll fucking roll fight. with you any day. <laughs> it's just us, Mari. <laughs> a funny detail that you don't even know is that Ivan came that day, and then he's like, you know, you could just order from like, like a uh, Instacart. 
Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I nah. asked him, he's like, oh, we don't got a corporate account. We got my own personal one. Well, thanks for fucking telling me that. <laughs> I don't think it was Why even... don't you just go on, like, Amazon Prime and, like, subscribe and save, and they just I don't subscribe. Think the, I like, don't think the problem was the LaCroix is missing. I, I don't th- know, man. I think it was deeper. I think it was the lack of sleep. When we went out to Mexico, we got a hotel room. Cody invited some of his friends out. They met us in Tijuana. And we went out, we went our separate ways because I was on a mission and Cody had his friends there. They were, they were just there to party and go to hell, hell's mm-hmm. whatever, HK, fucking yeah. the demon place. So I'm sleeping. I take my sleep very serious. <laughs> I have to take a pill to turn my brain off. You know this about me. I've been on Ambien around you and saying wild shit right before it knocks mm-hmm. me out. It's amazing. So I knock myself out at like maybe 1 a.m. It wasn't that crazy of a night in Mexico, but we got the job done. Now... At 4 a.m., my door is getting banged on. I'm thinking now the cartel's coming after me. They found out what was on the glasses. They knew what I was doing. Yeah, It's Cody's drunk friend. He's like, they robbed my wallet. He's not they even my friend. He was my boy's friend. A mutual. He friend. calls me, yo, your fucking friend's banging on my door. So I wake up, Kyle. I go downstairs. <laughs> I see my boy's friend in the lobby, and I see two girls crying. Yeah, yeah. I was like, please don't tell me you did anything to these girls. He's like, no, I don't even know them. Yeah, I was like, all right, cool. Good. They cool. weren't together. They but, weren't together. But he came to us to like house him, and he wanted to sleep. And I don't know this fucking guy. You know, now he woke us up, and now we're on no sleep. We're on this whole drug dealing mission, allegedly. And then you know that's that's why we Just got like, cranky. We got cranky. We got cranky and after then, dealing and our then drugs. And I got a so fight. I got so a had fucking, fight. I had an email saying five o'clock in the morning, your car was anti theft alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, my car is getting broken into in San Diego right now. I was like, we got to get the fuck out of here. I go back, the car was towed. It was towed in the USA. It was towed. So we had to come back here, go to a tow yard. Cody's yelling at the guy in the the tow place. So that was the trip. And then we had to drive back. We got in and that's when the LaCroix stuff happened. Big situation. Men are idiots, huh? All right, real quick. This episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the best place to find tickets to live events online. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. I just use SeatGeek to buy my parents tickets to see the Rolling Stones that I'll be going actually with Mike to see uh, and our parents together. That'll be fun and it wouldn't be possible without SeatGeek because they put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that allows you to return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know I came through for you guys? Use my code JEFF for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code JEFF. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. All right, thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. Speaking, I guess, of men being idiots, uh, sexual assault allegations, and handicapped people, can we talk about Stephen Hawking? Sure, yeah, that was a good segue. (laughs) You're good. You're a good podcaster. We just talked about this on Cancel, but I can't let it go. My entire Explore page has become Stephen Hawking memes. It's it's consuming my every thought. I just want to know your thoughts. Someone told me that you were invited to the island, Epstein Island. I was, um, but obviously not back in the day when I was like two. I guess they probably would have liked me more then. But um, yeah, I ended up knowing the people who bought the island now. No way. Yeah, and they invited me to go, and then I thought it would be like a funny, fun bit. Like, get ready with me to go to Epstein Island. But no one thought that was funny, so I just didn't go. <laughs> That's um, great. We should do that. I was, I was thinking about doing it, but some kid did it already. He like... Wrote it's like body. Danny Duncan on a fucking yeah, like, rented, like a jet ski and just rode up to it and there's nothing going on there really so it's yeah. not like it's probably the craziest like dark energy I would like to go like into Colombia and like go to dig up where Pablo Escobar's money is buried allegedly let's uh, let's get you in some like spin classes like. I would like to do that too <laughs> I'd actually really like that he's a man of many talents and interests yeah yoga he's a multifaceted class. king Pilates is crazy yeah you ever try Pilates mm-hmm. it's actually the new like I mean it's not like the new craze but now everybody around here is doing it like, yeah. every girl I know I feel Pilates. like I watched LA girls kind of transition from ketamine to Pilates it was like a real like social change. Some probably do both. They probably yeah. do the ketamine. The keta queens, the ket cadets. And they go to, they go to, <laughs> they go to get the ketamine out of their system, sweat it out. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Stephen Hawking. Yeah. So I didn't know he was dead until like two days ago. I thought he was alive. Yeah, he died like I don't know much. I don't know much really? about him. Yeah, I think. What he was a genius, but he was uh, crippled. What's the deal uh, with Stephen he Hawking? He discovered the uh, like an element or something like that. <laughs> discovered an element. But like it, it's not. I, I think it's like a. It's a little spicier than just being crippled. Like there's the right. Like there was a little. There's a little more. I think he had cerebral Does palsy. It, that's what I think it was. It, cerebral like, palsy. Yeah, yeah he you're, used to be like able, and then throughout his like lifespan, he just became more and more crippled. Does his so, stuff even work to be? I go- think it apparently, like allegedly, did because like he had a wife, and then he got accusations for cheating on the wife, which is crazy to not only pull a wife but other bitches. But I like I can't lie, I probably know like a surplus of girls who would fuck Stephen Hawking. You know, like it's. Uh, it yeah. makes sense. But apparently his fetish was having um, little people come and solve equations on chalkboards that were too high for them. No way. Like, actually. How do you even find that out that that's what you're into? I guess you have to... Yeah. How do you find that out? Like, if you have a foot fetish, you look at a foot and you're like, I like that. that I, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a foot fetish guy i'm a pervert you know mm-hmm. but like why do you keep like, looking at my foot when you say that I, I know what you do for work outside of here well i'm actually out of a job you got two feet just show the other one an ai it you know <laughs> yeah i know yeah i guess that's true it's just i'm a bit discouraged i'm missing my big toe for anyone who doesn't know so what do you got a band-aid on it no i'm just raw dogging it dude and it's oh, real yeah. fucking ugly but it doesn't hurt right it doesn't hurt but you can get like fungus <laughs> Yeah, you get a fungus toenail. He's Cody's yeah. got them, and they spread in prison, and like because you share their showers and stuff. Yeah, I don't so got them no more though. I don't got fungus no more. You would yeah. you, you took uh, antibiotics or something? There's a pill you take. Wait, you really? Go. I might need that. She might go to need the it. podiatrist. There you go. That's what everyone keeps telling me. It's just There's like, a pill fuck, you take. It's it. for three months. How'd you lose the toenail? My friend broke it in Hawaii. Like broke my toe. What she stepped on you? Like a wooden chair. A peg of a wooden chair went through it. Like oh, I was damn. sitting in the chair and he like came up behind me and rocked the chair and it like went through my toe and it really hurt. That was how I met my boyfriend. Like in that minute he was sitting next to me. No way. Yeah, and I was like scream crying and he was like icing my toe. And then the tooth fell out. Um, and then my tooth fell out the next time. Yeah, I'm not catching a break over there. I think God <laughs> knows that something good's happening to me and it's like not too much now. You know, like if you're gonna be happy and healthy, you gotta fucking lose. A what toe a guy though. I would have bailed after that toe came off. <laughs> You Jeff. were like screaming one tooth and like I, I would have been like I'm at, I'm fucking out of here. One hundred percent. You would have been like I kept saying that to him. I was like I promise that like I'm not always losing like an extremity. He loves you for you. And I, I take back what I said about that. Uh, it was just what did I say? She was just doing it for fun. She was having some fun. That's fair. That, I mean, so that was a fair thing for you to say at that. You were. Time. You didn't know that it was going to go this far. Yeah. None of us did. None of us expected it. You I know. Agree. Especially yeah. what your uh, rap sheet, your history. You know. Usually you date guys, and like after that, they're fucking. You cut them off. You know. Yeah. And then it's a podcast episode. And then we talk about it. Yeah, I'm really trying not to do that here. I hope for the best in this relationship, mm. but I can't wait to clickbait that. Dana <laughs> broke up with her boyfriend. You're going I, to hell. I won't ever. I, yes, you look. will. Yes, you will. If it happens, you will. Don't even lie. And I understand that. And I still love you anyway. <laughs> look, it's a business, but. all right? You know? <laughs> you do it too. Absolutely. We just both clickbaited off each other. Absolutely. You said can't. we're ending canceled, which you have no plans to do. It's doing better than ever. Yeah. And then I clickbaited canceled is over yeah it's actually done absolutely and the same guy made both thumbnails absolutely <laughs> and i had nike shoot i had the nike same, socks the, on the same guy picked both titles too <laughs> yeah absolutely i had nike socks on and adidas shoes on got a lot of hate comments for that but i actually baited all you guys into that because i knew that you guys would comment how could you wear adidas so- or adidas shoes and nike socks i'm just happy so long as you're wearing socks that aren't no shows because every time i see your little footsie in a no show sock Oh no, those aren't no shows. That's an ankle sock. That's fine. Live That's your life. Nike. See, I actually I would never wear Nike and Adidas and mix them up, but I did that to bait you guys into comments to help with the algorithm because I knew I knew you guys would fall for my trap. Absolutely. So long as you don't have toe cleavage in your sock, I, you live to see another day in my book. Toe cleavage? Like when you can see the like your toes, like not your not the actual toe, but like the the cleavage. I have that in your in your. My no-show toes are sock. fucked up from no. running. The, the, you know what I just bought? You I'm know what I just bought? I'm talking about an ailment. There's these things like for old people like mm-hmm. that have bunions. Like to, to <laughs> yeah. s- it's like a toe separator. Yeah, he comes so, in the room oh. and gives it to me. So, like, Yo, I got some bunions. I'm like, bro, I don't got bunions. I don't have, bu- I don't have bunions. I have one 
Do we have a photo? Do we have a photo? No, but uh, Jeff, you should, get, you should get these. I'm, I'm going to need those shoes. Soon. <laughs> I just bought Paige those shoes. That's funny. Did you actually? She could get her foot in there? Yeah, you have to wear special socks. It's like a cool. hoof. It's yeah. like a, it's like hoof. A, like a, like a, like a, some sort of deer, like a deer, like a deer foot. Yeah. It's you like, a, it's, a, it's a fashion choice for sure. Yeah. Um, so I got these toe spacer things now that I got to put on my feet at night. Or when I go for a run, I'll put it on and it's like. Kind of like when you get a pedicure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got, I got two. Uh, I can sexualize that. I can make some money there. I might have to get them too. I got an extra one. I, I have one. I got them for you and I got them for Mike and I got them for him because I know that uh, Mike has a serious bunion problem too. That's another thing that him and I- He's so bunion coated. He is. <laughs> he is. You could just look at him. You kind of look at his shoe and it's kind of like shaping the shoe because he wears the same shoes a lot. Yeah. It's sort of like he's got the bunion like forming like a triangle in his shoe and on his Travis I, Scott's. I have no room to talk seriously. My, what's going on with my foot right now is just a monstrosity. So. You think you're you're going to have a bunion issue? Maybe one day. I don't know if I'm going to have a bunion issue, but yeah, oh, I can make some money Look, with that. I bought all, I went nuts on Amazon. I got all these things. Because <laughs> it's either like, if you don't take action now, mm. then it's just going to get worse. And I'm not going to stop running. I keep running every day. And that's when I feel after like a nice long run. Yep. So I bought all of them. Because the other option is surgery, and I cannot risk getting my foot cut open yeah. and they like drill down the bone, and then like I, I, <laughs> I got. I'm just imagining you in like 30 years with an eye patch, like hobbling. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm fucking dying. I'm so old now no. that I, this is what I'm doing. I got to put on toe cast at night to sleep. I think it's how kind can of I fun. be in a relationship? How can I date somebody and I got to put on a toe cast? I think it's kind of fun and spunky. Like, you know, it's quirky. It makes you you. You're a rare case. That I'll you put your toe cast on. You would think that's funny, and that's like. <laughs> or whatever <laughs> I kind of do it's not like it's I'm bad. imagining you in bed with your little footsies and your toe cast and it's so sweet I wake up with it on and I'm like oh I like, <laughs> kick it off so I feel like, with my toe right now I really want to show you yeah I want to see it I'm gonna show see you it. and I'll show you the bunion oh my god this is beautiful no, no I have a picture of it no sock no 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 but I think live no, is better but with the with the uh no I'm being vulnerable <laughs> <laughs> I need you to also be vulnerable look with the with, oh, with the spacer, oh, look at me. <laughs> at least they're like nude. But I, yeah, I'm gonna so. make some serious money with that. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's see that foot. It don't Joe. look bad well, with the sock, sock on. on. <laughs> let's see, pop it off. Hit that romantic music. It's just gonna, that it's off. just gonna stick to the, to the sock. <laughs> oh damn, that's what Cody's toenails <laughs> look like when he got out of prison. That's oh, what Cody. It's just growing back. Damn, you have a Cody prison toenail. I got the same one. When he got out the joint, that's what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck it, you know. Over here it it looks like Cody's toe. <laughs> oh, Cody's but look toe. at this. Look at this. Jeff. It's bad, right? Can I touch it? Where is it? No. Yeah, I just want. Is it squishy or is it hard? And that toenail's falling off from the marathon. When I raised your other boyfriend. Oh, when you ran, you're insane. Oh my God. Look at that thing. It's going to grow Ew. back. It'll be fine. I'm literally fucking livid. I need a new job. So if you're hiring over here, I can't sell my foot pics anymore. That's not true. You could sell your... Oh, speaking of selling your nudes. Yeah. Did you see that tattoo? I did see that Why, tattoo. Why, I think you should get yeah, it. Yeah, I want that shit. That shit's sick. Yeah, it made your nipple look gigantic. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I wish I didn't have that gorilla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could have put tan on your chest? Yeah, I wish I knew Tana when I was in prison. <laughs> she would have been, been a, pen, pals. pen pal and shit. Yeah, we could have been pen pals. Like, yo, dear baby, when I get out, I'm going to rock your world. Oh, oh. <laughs> Send me a package. How sweet. I need a package. Put money on my books, bitch. Put money on my books. <laughs> what is this? What's this phone call? Is this weather segment? Oh, my God, right. Are we doing weather? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, I see what you're doing. What's going on? You, you want to tell me what's going on? <laughs> what is this? Is this Mexico related? It looks like you guys had a fun trip. <laughs> he looks sad to be doing this right now. Is that a real, is that a real mustache? Because that's like a cop mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull on it. Yeah, Pull yeah. on it. It's either a cop or a chomo. I'm not, pulling, I'm not pulling on my mustache. It's a real mustache. We both know it's a real mustache. Pull, I know you have a mustache. <laughs> But pull on the mustache and then I'll tell you about the heroin that I bought in Mexico. Allegedly. Allegedly or was it, did you do it? It was allegedly. You go down and buy drugs in Mexico, Mr. Pull Wick, on the mustache. Bring them back in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I did, I did, yeah, I didn't bring them back though. I just tested them for fentanyl and threw them, I disposed of them. We dug a hole and buried them. So I didn't do anything you illegal. You tested them in Mexico? Yes, I tested them in Mexico, the second run, allegedly. I have some witnesses that want to make a, that have been making different statements. What fucking witnesses? Only Kyle went. Did Kyle make a statement against me? 
Kyle, you ratted on me to this fake cop? Would I don't even know this guy. Fake cop. This is a good <laughs> costume. You're getting a little budget over there now, huh? Is that a green screen behind yeah. you? The police station. <laughs> I'm outside the police station. <laughs> <laughs> I know when we, we, we prepped you on you know, pod today that we we're going to record the podcast today. You told me you were just going to call the normal, not have any bits going or anything like that. And I yep. think we're on to something. That's not that. true. I think we're on to something. I think you got a lot of talent and I wanted to offer you the position of being an in-studio co-host. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's super chill. You got a super cool boss. Never gets mad. Never mm. yells. And, yeah. you know, I think I'd love to meet the guy. <laughs> you're talking to him. Oh, you know how our chemistry is. This weather segment has been the best part about this show, besides Tana showing her toe. That rhyme, too. <laughs> I didn't. I better start getting paid for this shit. Well, you want to bring me in the studio and have me co host? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not every time, because Co when Cody's here, he'll fill mm. in. What's in it for me? Uh, you get a slight pay raise. And you get to get more screen time, which is what you mostly care about. Sounds pretty nice. <laughs> is Steven dead? <laughs> Steven doesn't want to do the show anymore. And you say I fired him. I didn't fire him. We went down and, and had a great talk and hugged in the rain like the notebook. Yeah, I really was just making shit up. <laughs> See? That's what we do. We talk Steven, shit. Steven came on canceled. He hey. talked about his happy ending massages. Well, that's what I heard about. And rubmaps.com. <laughs> Which apparently is something people know about. I can have my people get in touch with your people and we can see if we can, if it lines up, you know. Nope, we need an one. answer now. We need an answer now live on the show. You have no time to think about it. I'm, I'm going on tour. Contract. Don't worry, I won't be here. I'm sending you a contract that dissolves in 30 <laughs> seconds if you don't sign it. You can't even read it in time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Okay, great. Aww. That's nice. I didn't even know I was going to do this. It wasn't even my decision. The audience likes you, so... You know, I do what they want. I'm just a puppet in here and they ask for something. They like somebody. Cool, you'll get more of them. I'm excited. I think it'll be good. I'll tune in to an episode. I don't know what I'm fucking Thanks. saying. Seriously, please pay me. <laughs> I Look, you're getting paid, all right? You're getting paid. <laughs> I'm giving you stuff right after this. I'm you want me to get kidding. it now? I'm just kidding. You're getting but, exposure. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. But look, like, when he came on, we had some good bits and I didn't even realize that some of our best bits... We're just us, just fucking with people. Like we had Steve Madden in here. Yeah. And he asked him if he was a pervert and a pedophile. What did you just ask him? If it, like, Didn't feet? he go to Epstein Island? I just Island? asked him if he was into feet. I just asked yeah. if he was into feet. You said, uh, yeah. The fact that that somehow got turned into are you a pedophile <laughs> is crazy. <laughs> I, I don't know what he said, but it was so ridiculous. And Steve Madden was sitting here on his phone. He w didn't even catch it. He wasn't even listening. And it was just like so funny for Ryan. Did that episode ever go out? Yeah, yeah, it went out. Yeah, And we talked shit on him after. And Steve Madden, the actual Steve Madden shoe page, reposted our promotion for the episode. And because he like, he was a shit guest. He came through. Yeah. He was on his phone taking pictures like, oh, my kids love you. They're going to fucking go nuts when they see this. And then How he just didn't talk. He? He's like 60, 60. something yeah. like that. That is so wild. You know Wolf of Wall Street. Of course. That's like not, it's not, yeah. I mean, that's a movie. I wear Steve Madden. I know him. about Steve Madden. Yeah. I know. I like Steve Madden. He, I think, he just did he go us. to Epstein Island? I just saw that, I swear. Did Was he one of them? I, I might be making that up. I don't know. A that's a there. serious allegation. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be throwing that around. That's not just saying that's why I love Tana. That's calling somebody an actual, I guess we both did the same thing just now. Yeah. See, that's why we get along. You so comparing you being an asshole about me to me um, accusing Steve Madden of being on Epstein Well, we Island both just accused the man who has no evidence of being a pedophile that he was a pedophile. That's what we When just When did I accuse anyone? Oh, I guess. Did it okay, right okay, after. okay, you're right. We're the right. same, you and me. We're the it same. It's a different generation. It was yeah. a different generation. <laughs> so look, you'll be in here like once a month. You know, it's not a big change, but can I know the um, date and time? The what? I just just want to know which day, which time. Do you want to know what day we're shooting the episode so you could come just here? Just like what day he'd come in. Oh, so you guys can. This bit's over. <laughs> You're in a happy relationship. Everything's changed now. All the jokes that we used to make, we can no longer make because I respect your boyfriend. You made that way more than it was. I don't want you. Acting Listen like to him. You're gonna fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. My backup now. <laughs> Pay right goes in, up man. by thirty <laughs> percent. <laughs> yeah. Listen to him. Yeah. We fucking respect He's him. He's beyond and we're not making jokes about you being a whore and all of us it, fucking you anymore. That wasn't even the joke. It was like so I could avoid it, but I could see how 
how that could be misconstrued. Oh, okay. Yeah. I want to be here. It would just yeah. say it was okay. Yeah. I'm going to fuck myself. We're not making these jokes about all of us fucking you anymore. It's not it's not That was funny. never the joke. It's well, Are you telling yes, yourself it, it or me? It was. It was that was the joke. Hey, don't get mad at him. <laughs> Damn, we got promoted to yes, man. Yeah, that's right. I if Steven would have just done this, he would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> Steven didn't get fired. I don't I don't understand. It's Steven could come yeah. on the show if he wants to tomorrow and talk about whatever the fuck he wants. I'm just replaceable like that. No, that's <laughs> look, I'm doing what the audience asked. They wanted Steven on weather. Remember Steven did that incredible performance on a weather oh, segment yeah, when he, he shaved himself. his own head? I should have known right there that that's where I should have made the switch. Like Ryan is more of a intellectual. We'll have him in here. We'll have him <laughs> yeah, talk but, about we'll when, have him to call out Steve Madden, your when, pervert when he, like feet. When he did that, he was like, yo, Ryan better not be taking my spot in the studio. <laughs> Damn, we just air out our whole lives and people look at us like we're a reality show. That's scripted and faked. But you love it. It is. All I, I haven't gone on the. It is scripted up here by me. I knew what I was doing before this call happened. I knew I was going to offer that job. American Psycho. We're fucking actors. I haven't gone on the Reddit in months, and I mm -hmm. went on the Reddit today, and I was like, "That's it." What was on the Reddit? There Reddit. Was good stuff about you. They said that. Yeah, you're everybody. Last... Like you have like a lot of fans on there. I know. I know. I kept scrolling until I found bad shit, though. I eventually. Oh, yeah. I like just, to do that sometimes going. too. You were cutting. Yeah. Just hurt yourself. It's awesome. Yeah. You need a humbling sometimes. Yeah. You know? But the last weather segment was really good. You had that whole, like, cult thing going on. And, you know, you've been putting effort into the show. And I, I see it. I notice it. And, yeah, you're promoted. Yes, man. Thanks. <laughs> it's not that much of a pain. All right. Piece, well. But, all right, cool. And there's only one beard allowed on the show. So I need clean, shaved faces. Because we can't both have beards. Because it's going to be complicated. What about the mustache? Can I keep the mustache? <laughs> I look they might so confuse you guys. without it. I look so awful without you it. You keep the mustache, but the rest needs to be clean shaven and no shorts. We're not wearing shorts anymore. It's immature. We're going to be adults. <laughs> I don't wear shorts. Only long I pants. Got, okay. Especially when we're filming content. If you want to go for a workout, you want to go for a run, you can wear shorts. But the rest of the day, we're not wearing athleisure no more. We're dressing like adults. You know? I won't. That's that's all so I... Like this. What should I wear? You got pants on, you're good. But you're a woman, so you could it's not do whatever showing. you want. I'm not going to tell you what to... Your body, your choice. But like dream outfit, like for me to show up in. What am I wearing? Nothing. <laughs> See, those jokes don't work anymore. See? See how... So that, would, that would always be my reaction. This is not good. Are you... You're insinuating this, that like... <laughs> you got this is bad. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I only tried from the top half. I was like, he's not going to see my legs. <laughs> but you're right. It's immature. We're not doing this little little uh little kid youtube -y shit no more you know we're not wearing shorts we're wearing pants we're meeting up having professional shows we're uploading to spotify we're uploading to apple podcasts, podcasts. we're not just doing this little kid youtube shit no that's more. right that's right <laughs> please come in here for an episode and just act just like jeff like i need it <laughs> go look at a prankster channel on youtube and tell me if they're wearing pants or if they're wearing shorts. They're wearing shorts. They're fucking wearing shorts. They're all fucking wearing shorts. And we're not like them. Danny we're Duncan. Them. Danny Duncan's calling like, you out. Danny Duncan don't even own a pair of pants. He's in Florida. Piece of shit. Probably just wears bathing suit shorts or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's Who end this segment. Shorts. We're good. You know, forget the whole thing. So, <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you next week. Come through the studio. Hey, bye. Bye, everyone. All right. Bye. Bye. What do you think about that? I love it. <laughs> this is like it's like watching a show for you, huh? How what? Jeff FM is. I just I really love it here. I love you all in very different ways, and that was like a wholesome answer. But you know, yeah, yeah. Have you seen Jason Nash on TikTok Live every day begging of course, for money? Yeah, yeah. I see clips of it. I see like okay. YouTube videos where people. Like, I would rather him have an fans. Like every day, I get on my TikTok, and every hour on the hour, Jason nah, Nash is live. Got kids. Uh, like he doesn't see them. He's live thanking people for roses eighteen hours a day. That part's bad, but also if he had fans, that'd be even worse for his kids. You know, look Think at about Adam the, twenty two and Lena. They have kids. They have a kid, but not in high school. Like if, um, imagine you're in high school and like your dad's showing his dick in, on the internet. <laughs> it's like the like, South not, Park episode. Yeah, you can. Oh, it's exactly <laughs> that. Yeah, I haven't seen that still. I that kid to. loses every argument automatically. Like you just. Bro, your fucking dad showing his oh, dick yes, online, you know? You, well, wouldn't there already be maybe, conversations like that in school? Being like, yo, your dad's on TikTok Live right now? 100%. It's probably a thing, but it is probably much worse if yeah. he had... Yeah. 
like his butthole. I just feel like he needs to be like a DoorDash driver then. Like it's just getting out of hand. Just, or a writer or something. He's got just, talents that uh, that he doesn't need to be like yeah. so given so much of himself on the internet. Like he could. Yeah. He could. And do I don't know why I'm talking shit. I'm literally a sellout. What do you mean? If push came to shove, I would be on live begging too. But for some reason when I do it, it's like camp. And when he does it, it's like jail. You don't need the money. That's No, one no, thing, no. But know? if I needed the money and I was doing it, I'd be like, oh my God, that's so that's so camp, Tana, what you're doing there, begging for Can't money. But word. like, you can believe me, right? Yeah. My feet have grown two sizes in the last like three years. I was a women's eight. And now I feel like I'm about to be a women's 10. Is that good or bad for business? I don't think that's, uh, that's not good. I, I don't think, but also I, I don't think, that, <laughs> I don't think it's good because you're supposed to stop growing. At, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like what the fuck say, is wrong with growing? me? Women saw, stop growing at like 18. Yeah. My feet won't stop. Like I'm not kidding. But like I think pregnancy, that, pregnancy makes women's feet grow. I'm size. definitely not pregnant. You took that plan B. Maybe, maybe that was like, oh, time to grow the feet. Yeah. Maybe. It's really, it's really yeeting it right now. I can feel it. It's like a raccoon in there. How many yeah. plan B's do you think you've taken in your life? I just had this conversation the other day. You've been at it for a while. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> it comes to podcast, sits down. How dare you call me a whore? How many plan B's have you taken? I'm like, over how many a, do you think? Over a hundred. No. But like every time you're just getting like i just get up. possessed and then i'm i say yeah. things and i'm like you know and Why yeah you no no leave control? it in leave it no <laughs> that's what you say when you're like hook yeah them in 50 probably 50 50 plan b's huh you think that's bad for your like gut health but i don't want to i don't want you to think that's 50 people it's more like when you're in a relationship with someone and you like so like 40 people yeah <laughs> sometimes i'll like in ten times. i was in the airport the other day and i saw a kid with like a mohawk and like a really weird outfit on and i was like that that like it's giving one of my little plan b one steps i used to have to freaking get plan b's prescribed from my doctor because the girls were too scared to like tell their parents yeah well uh, i don't even want to ask actually, well no you used to have to get it, get it from a pharmacy it wasn't now over, you could buy them it wasn't over the counter, really? counter. yeah you used to have I think to, I'm too young for that. They were always in like a CVS for me. Just chewing them down like yeah, Tic Tacs. <laughs> Absolutely. Now they put them in the, the cases so you can't steal them. Though. Yeah. Used to be well, we to could always them. go to Mexico mm. if they decide to go back that route, you know, we'll yeah. get them start a business out of it. I just really never want to take one again. Like, I think that was this last plan B was my last plan B. I did get offered a really big sponsorship, though. So maybe from plan B, not plan B, but another one like plan B. Were you plan B for Halloween one year? Here I was actually. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Like, it's shit. Like, why would you do that, Tana? Like, oh, why would I do that? Yeah. Why would you do <laughs> why that? Why would I be? But look, you're opening. <laughs> but look that? at what you're doing. You're opening up the door for a sponsor. You're like, look, I rep your shit. I'm fucking open about taking it. Yeah. I you eat know? fetuses. Like me. I, I got manscaped. You know, I got to talk about shaving my nuts. I got to boot yeah. you. Like, oh, I can't get hard. I need yeah. I need this. I need yeah. this. You know, like, I, I do all this stuff and then the money rolling it's in. It's understandable. It really, it just, yeah. It is. I, I don't even know. Every time I take a plan B, I think to myself, like, was that the next Jeff Bezos? Is that Billie Eilish in there singing? Yeah. Like, you I know? think that too. Like, uh, But then at the same time, like, was it Dahmer? I know? think that would jerk it off. Like, if I ever jerk off, I'm like, did I just waste a Elon Musk? <laughs> I've never thought about that. He's family officially divorced. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Catherine McBroom stood up. Didn't, Catherine see, didn't see that relationship ending right yeah i mean i went really hard on this in 20 like 20 like i i was really like leave him and i was making all these videos about him being a cheater and yeah i exposed him whatever so i've kind of said my piece yeah i'm well, happy for her she was with michael b jordan before him oh but yeah who knows what she could do she was in jeff's dms before that too oh wow well no i don't think that's a fun play you should date Catherine McBroom. i think we just we went out on like a double date like there was like a few of us that went out to, and this is like when I first moved to LA. This was mm -hmm. like 2013 or mm -hmm. something. Yeah, he was so open, DMing girls, like didn't give a fuck, didn't respect her enough. Mm -hmm. So that's great that she. she yeah, I, I really do love that for her, and I'm, I'm excited to like see her her journey. You know, should have her on the pod. That'd be a good, nice woman's pod. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should have her on though. That's actually a really good idea. I'm yeah. gonna do it. That's yeah. that's a great idea. Yeah, Pop and I'll have Austin on. <laughs> I would not let so him within shit 10 on Austin. feet. I've called him out to fight. I've done. I think he would like kill me. Like I, he hates me so much. He has to. I already know it. He's got a lot of people that don't like him. So. I'm surprised he has people yeah. that do still rock with him. Like there's people that still give him loyalty. Well, yeah, what's his YouTube gonna be now? Ace, there's no more Ace Family. If anything, I would love to see him take like a Dan Bilzerian route. Oh yeah. Like just be who you really are. Just be yourself. 
it's easier yeah. that way because you don't have to you don't have to try and be somebody else and remember lies and shit you know yeah that's oh really i didn't dm that girl what are you talking about you know just fucking, yeah. you dm every girl dm the girls go full monty lopez on us monty lopez what happened yeah. to him i don't know he's probably dead yeah steroid overdose i need to just start saying people are dead like imagine right now i was like he's dead he might really be dead or if he dies in like a week they're gonna say you cursed him <laughs> nice good timing Oh, that was man, good. that's tough. This uh, might be my last episode of Jeff FM before I leave for tour. I'd like to squeeze another in if you'll have me again. When do you leave for tour? Dude, it's like February three years away. 20th. You got time. Kyle, February, that's one month from now. February 20th, 20th, and then you're gone for how long? Well, damn, Kyle, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gone for how long? Theoretically, until like June. I have like two week breaks, a couple, but I don't. And you're going to go to Hawaii in that time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go to Coachella We could run that back If you'd like I thought you said Last year was your last Coachella I know but then the, You know money talks <laughs> A year went by Oh money you got a brand talks. deal Yeah I'm doing some AI shit out there Oh yeah I don't yeah. know what that means AI in the desert It sounds like a Some weird Ka-ching. shit Ka-ching. But yeah Yeah I am going again I really hope Justin Bieber headlines I don't know if you care I'm a big believer Is that rumored to happen? Kinda I think I don't know Wait they just released it Really? Yeah. Lana Del Rey, Tyler Creator, and Doja Cat are mm. headlining. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. I never really liked the lineups. I, Rage Against the Machine I was excited for. If you if you think I can make a music lineup, who do you and think no I would doubt. have a headline? And no doubt, Gwen Stefani? Yeah. Oh, I feel like your sick. number one headliner would be Jay-Z. Uh, yeah, he, he probably. I mm-hmm. was going to go with 50 Cent, but Jay-Z, you actually, I was like, fuck, yeah, I guess 50 would have to go <laughs> yeah. before him. Oh my God, imagine day. us at Lana Del Rey, though. How sweet. Our favorite song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And by that time, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I am in love with Brooke now. Brooke and I are it's the It's so new. weird. I hate that. We're, <laughs> this whole time. No, I'm kidding. I do, it was it's, it's right not, under my like, nose. I love you and Brooke. I just want to clarify that. Just the If you two like dated, I don't know what I would do with my hands. I don't know yeah, what I would do. Yeah. I don't know what I would well, do. It's already and it's happening. vulnerable of me to say that because now you're going to play into it. And, you know, Look, and I just, but it, that's just with any of your best friends dating. You don't want your best friends to date. Yeah, because if it gets ugly, but what if yeah. it just goes like a fairy tale? Everything is perfect. And then in that case, I would be happy. It would never go like a fairy tale. It would be a bloodbath. It would be hell. We would be talking shit about each other on podcasts. Oh, I have a question. And then our, our relationship would get affected. If they broke up, which side are you picking, Tana? I'm not picking sides. I'm shooting myself in the forehead. Mm. Oh, no, you can't say that answer. It's really a toss up on who would be like wrong in that scenario. You know what I mean? Like you guys are very different. But then if I'm saying things like that right now, like I sound bitter. Yeah. I'm like you guys are very different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> zoom in on her. It's get her, as get fun. that raw emotion in her face. I'm Look, turning she's red. Her, she is turning all red. <laughs> Damn. All right, guys, keep making those edits of me and Brooke. Let's put it. Let's put it out there in the universe. You know, yep. let's torture Tana with that, and Breath. let's fucking just pretend that this is not real life. You know. <laughs> Be back in Mexico next week. Actually, no, I'll never go back to Mexico again. Yeah. Probably without me. Cartels after me. Allegedly. Huh? Allegedly. Jeff Allegedly. Jeff